Number 170 in the indicator range is Winter Kills, a movie that stars Jeff Bridges and John Huston and is really odd uh, within its genre that it chooses to, to, to depict. It has a, a political conspiracy movie mixed with a kind of comedy aspect. It really feels a little bit disjointed, uh, but this is a really wonderful movie. I had so much fun with Winter Kills. I found it captivating, uh, riveting, and that constant tonal change throughout it really did keep me on my toes. Now, the movie's all about Tommy Keegan, which is Jeff Bridges' character. He is the younger brother um, of a president who was assassinated 19 years prior. At the start of the movie, he's on a ship uh, when this body is brought on. Uh, almost dead guy who claims to be the second assassin on the grassy knoll uh, who took the, the, the kill shot of his brother and tells him that it was a, a, a conspiracy and that the gun is hidden in a certain place. And this kick starts all the events. As we have Nick digging into Timothy's death, trying to figure out what happened, who's telling the truth, who's lying into this ball uh, of intertwined stories of who's telling the truth and who's not and who's manipulating this character. And you get the wonderful uh, addition of Pa. That's always known as Pa Keegan, which is this patriarchal father figure who seemingly controls the world by the looks of it. And he is larger than life in your face and such a wonderful character that just jumps off the screen uh, and Jeff Bridges has that wonderful wide-eyed uh, doe caught in the, the, the headlamps who just never really knows where he stands and who's manipulating him and who's not and I, I think down to that uh, strange tone that I was talking about the movie's dark and I kind of like that darkness about it uh, but it has this really strange sense of humour all the way through it as well. There's a scene where he's making love with his girlfriend and she is ridiculously screaming which is over the top. It's a comedic love sequence. There's a moment where he gets attacked uh, by an assassin on the balcony of his hotel room and, and it ends with him ripping her top off and her kind of shocked that she's naked and running away. It has a, a quirky character whom he goes to talk to who chases him in a tank. It has all these moments throughout it that keep you in your toes in a story point perspective. It's completely out of left field but somehow completely wonderful at the same time. And it truncates all of this into a movie that's no longer than really 90 minutes. It's just it's wonderfully put. It's wonderfully entertaining. It, it feels like a kind of movie that fits in with the Manchurian Candidate or JFK talking on a, a serious kind of subject of, of political conspiracies and murder but has this comedic strain all the way through it and I think it has so many standout sequences so many wonderful actors in this that it's a movie that I'm really surprised has never appeared on my radar before because I, I found almost everything about it captivating and the transfer that indicator have done here is just pure wonderful um, work it just shines it's a, a terrific print but I really go back to the tale which is captivating I, I want to watch it again because just to, to get everything ironed out almost of where all the pieces lay, lay. Uh, and to watch that wonderful performance by John Huston who is just larger than life um, there's things I want to talk about within the story itself but it's kind of spoiler and I don't want to touch a point and waste it for you Winter Kills was utterly wonderful I really enjoyed it uh, the cover art is just bonkers and that's an idea of this kind of movie that you're getting. I, I can thoroughly recommend checking this one out and I would love to know your opinion of this movie if you've seen it. Let me know in the comment box below and I will see you next time on Man V Film.